Should you videotape an at-fault driver right after an auto accident? Well, if you've got a dash cam and the dash cam is recording your accident, that's great. That stuff is golden. You want to make sure that video is preserved. You want to send it to the other side in their insurance company so they can see the accident. And that's going to help demonstrate that the other person's at fault. It's going to give a little bit of information about damages and things like that. So that is awesome. Definitely keep it. Definitely share it. But what if you don't have a dash cam? Well, I recently watched a video that a injured person took immediately after an accident. And in this scenario, there were two cars going down the road, one bumped the other one. So the person who got hit grabbed his cell phone and took a video. And so what did the video show? Well, the video showed something helpful. It showed the car that was the offending vehicle. It showed the license plate. It showed the make and model of the vehicle. It showed generally the location of where the accident occurred. And the gentleman filmed the at-fault vehicle from the accident until they turned around a corner and parked. And then they got out and exchanged information, which is not on that same video. So was the video helpful? Well, yeah, it was helpful because it identified the vehicle that caused the accident. But what else was in the video? Well, the video showed a few things that were not so helpful to the person's case. The first thing it showed is somebody who was driving down the road while holding a phone in their hand. I don't know what state you happen to be in, but here in Nevada, you're not supposed to be holding your phone while you're driving. That's a no-no. What else did it show? Well, you heard a noise in the vehicle and you also saw a red light on the dash. And if you look up the noise in the red light on the dash, it showed that the person operating the vehicle while holding a cell phone making a video was not wearing his seatbelt. So that's kind of strike two. And then what else did the video show? Well, the video showed that as he followed the at-fault car around the corner to make the right turn and park on a safe street, the light was red. You could clearly see the red light and you could clearly see the person making the video did not stop for the red light. So should you make a video right after an accident? Well, if you can do it legally, fantastic. But if you're going to be breaking the law in order to make the video, maybe that's not something you're going to want to share with the court.